everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 17th of september 2022 let's start who is the head of the committee constituted by the finance ministry to address the issues faced by the venture capital and private equity so the finance ministry has constituted an expert committee that is to be headed by former sebi chief m damodaran to examine and suggest measures to address regulatory issues to scale up the investment by the venture capital and private equity okay and other members of the committee include for example g mahalingam who is the former whole time member of sebi and executive director of rbi then representatives from central board of indirect taxes and customs income tax department and c a e r etc okay and financial year 23 budget proposed to set up such a committee okay so this committee is to be headed by mr m damodaran how many drugs are included in the national list of essential medicines so our union minister for health and family welfare dr mansukh mandavi launched the national list of essential medicines 2022 and uh, this list ensures accessibility of affordable quality medicine and it helps in the reduction in out of pocket expenditure on healthcare for the citizen okay so 384 drugs have been included in this list with the addition of 34 drugs while 26 from the previous list have been dropped okay so currently this list included 384 drugs next is mukul rohadgi who was seen in the news recently is set to be appointed in which position so senior advocate mukul rohadgi is set to be appointed as the attorney general of india and he is to replace mr k k venu gopal so attorney general is the top law officer of the country and also the central government's top lawyer before the supreme court of india and k k venugopal remained in the office of the attorney general from 2014 to june 2017 okay so now our new attorney general would be mukul rohadgi which city played host to the harbor phase of japan india maritime exercise 2022 so the sixth edition of japan india maritime exercise that is jimex is to be hosted by indian navy commenced in the bay of bengal okay and the harbor phase of this exercise is held at visakhapatnam and the indian naval ships welcomed jms df ships named as izumo a helicopter carrier and takanami which is a guided missile destroyer okay and indian navy is being represented by three indigenously designed and built warship which are these sahadri kadmat and kavarati these three names are very very important okay so the harbor phase of japan india maritime exercise was conducted at visakhapatnam now apart from it union home minister Amit Shah recently participated in the All India Official Language Conference in 
Surat in the state of Gujarat. Okay, and this conference is being organized on the occasion of Hindi Day, which is celebrated annually on fourteenth of September across the country. You have to tell me when do we observe the World Hindi Day. Yesterday I have told you. Next is voluntary blood donation has been launched. On which application under Raktadan Amrit Mahotsav? So registrations for the Raktadan Amrit Mahotsav have begun on the Arogya Setu application and e Raktakosh portal as a part of mega voluntary blood donation drive that is planned across the country from 17th of September till 1st of October. Don't forget that 1st of October is observed as the national voluntary blood donation day and the main purpose of this drive is to create a repository of voluntary blood donors fine next is which state has stopped in the implementation of amrit sarovar program so with the construction of 8462 amrit sarovar lakes uttar pradesh has stopped the state in the implementation of amrit sarovar mission which aims at conserving the water for the future okay uttar pradesh is then followed by madhya pradesh at second position third was jammu and kashmir fourth was rajasthan and fifth was tamil nadu in the implementation of mission amrit sarovar okay so these are the top 5 states and the union territories in the implementation of amrit sarovar program next is which ministry is associated with the gef small grants program what is gef global environment facility okay so the small grant program is jointly implemented by the ministry of environment forest and the climate change along with united nations development program and teri that is the energy and resources institute and it provides financial and technical support to the projects that restore the environment while enhancing the lives of local communities okay and the project aims to work on biodiversity climate change and land degradation through the funding of ngos fine so you can be asked that which ministry is related to gef small grant program it is ministry of environment forest and climate change which country is the host of multinational defense exercise kakadu 2022 So this is being officially hosted by the Royal Australian Navy in Darwin in the country Australia and the Indian Navy joined the exercise with 14 navies and Indian Navy's INS Satpura and a maritime patrol aircraft reached to Darwin to take part in this multinational exercise okay so this two week long exercise both in harbor and sea phase involves the participation of ships and maritime aircraft okay so important thing is exercise kakadu is to be hosted by the country australia next is which industry union has announced to adopt 1 lakh tb patients under the tuberculosis mukt bharat abhiyan so fiki which stands for the federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry recently committed to adopting 1 lakh tb patients under the tb mukt bharat abhiyan and indian president draupadi murmu launched the pradhan mantri tb mukt bharat abhiyan on 9th of september okay and the scheme aims to bring together all community stakeholders to accelerate the country's progress towards elimination of tb okay can you tell me we have to eliminate tb completely from india by which year do let me know in the comments now apart from it ncert means national council of educational research and training release the guidelines for early identification and intervention for the mental health problems in school going children and adolescent okay and the guidelines include setting up of a mental health advisory panel school based mental health program and complete support to ensure mental well being of the students and engaging parent okay so if you are asked that which institution has released the guidelines to identify the mental health children in school going children 
so this is ncert next is which company has launched high throughput satellite broadband internet service in association with isro so hugus communications india in collaboration with isro officially launched its first high throughput satellite broadband internet service in the country and through this hts technology the company is already providing assistance to the indian army and paramilitary forces along the line of actual control and also to other remote border outposts okay so high throughput satellite increases the capacity while simultaneously reducing the cost per bit right so it has been launched by hugus communications india limited next is india celebrates national engineers day on 15th of september to honor which famous personality so we celebrate the national engineers day on 15th of september every year to recognize and honor the achievements of m visveswaraya who is one of the india's foremost engineers okay and along with india sri lanka and tanzania also celebrate engineers day fine so talking about m visveswaraya he was the chief engineer of the construction of the krishna raj sagar dam in mysore as well as he was the chief designer of hyderabad's flood protection framework okay and in the year 1955 he was awarded the bharat ratna honor as well and also he was knighted as a knight commander of the british indian empire okay so two things are important when do we observe the national engineers day it is observed on 15th of september and on this day we honor which famous personality answered me and visveswaraya last question is india post payments bank has partnered with which social media platform to promote the financial literacy so india post payments bank has partnered with ku to promote the financial literacy in tier 2 and tier 3 cities and also in remote cities fine and this partnership with indian micro blogging platform ku aims to promote the financial literacy in the remote cities and talking about ku it is a multilingual platform that allows the users to communicate in 10 different languages fine now apart from it india africa growth partnership conclave was jointly organized by the confederation of indian industry and exim bank okay and union minister piyush goel inaugurated this conclave and announced that india can be a valuable partner to african nations in four critical areas which are these first is solar energy second is infrastructure third is military cooperation and fourth is startup ecosystem okay so you can be asked that which institutions organized the india africa growth partnership conclave answer would be exim bank cii fine so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll move on to our revision section so today we'll be covering few important states after that we'll see important days and themes and at last we'll see important post that were in light okay so let's start with the states that were in news which state has signed a memorandum of understanding with it major dell to create enhanced cyber security practices so recently karnataka has signed this mou with dell to create enhanced cyber security practices which state is set to provide unique farm id as well as the family id to the people of the state so this is the state uttar pradesh and uh, the farm id will be linked with their aadhar to provide the benefits of all type of government scheme this organization in its report stated that 50 million people worldwide are stuck in the modern slavery so this is the report from international labor organization headquarter lies in geneva switzerland so in this report international labor organization said that number of people who are trapped in the forced labor or forced marriage has increased by 1 by 5th in the recent years and this study was conducted along with the walk free foundation okay which state or the union territory launched mukhyamantri govansh mobile chikitsa yojana 
This is the योजना from Chhattisgarh government. Why? To provide medical help to the cattle. Which state or union territory held the UCI MTB Alminator World Cup International Cycling Event? So this event took place in Ladakh, and it was organized in collaboration with Ladakh Police and Cycle Federation of India, and it was conducted at Leh. Okay. Which Indian state famous for its king chili organized a mirchi festival, also called as chili festival? So this chili festival was celebrated in the state of Nagaland recently. Okay. Let's see some of the important days and themes. Ayurveda Day is celebrated on which month every year? So this day is celebrated in the month of October every year, and uh, this year it would be celebrated on twenty third of October. Actually, it is celebrated every year on Dhan Vantra Jayanti. And what is the theme for this year? Har Din, Har Ghar, Ayur Veda. Okay. When is the Hindi Divas or the National Hindi Day celebrated in India? We celebrate the National Hindi Day on fourteenth September. You have to tell me when do we observe the World Hindi Day? When is the United Nations Day for South South Cooperation observed? It is celebrated on twelfth of September. What is the theme of the World First Aid Day, twenty twenty two? So this day is celebrated on tenth of September every year, and this year theme was lifelong first aid. Okay. When is the National Forest Matters Day observed in India? This day is observed on eleventh of September. When is the World Electric Vehicle Day marked? So this day is marked on ninth of September. What is the theme of the World Suicide Prevention Day, twenty twenty two? So this day is observed on tenth of September every year, and this year theme is creating hope through action. Okay. Now let's see a few important venues. Which city is the host of All India Official Language Conference held in twenty twenty two? So host for this event is Surat. Which city hosted the Cyber Crime Investigations and Intelligence Summit twenty twenty two? Answer would be Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Which country hosted the exercise Pitch Black 2022 multilateral defense exercise? This has been hosted by Australia. Country. Which city is the host of international conference on green ship recycling and vehicle scrapping? So the host for this event is Gandhinagar from the state of Gujarat. Which Indian city is the host of national defense MSME conclave and exhibition? Answer would be Kota. Which city hosted the first in-person ministerial meeting of the India-Pacific Economic Forum? So the venue for this event is Los Angeles. Which state is the host of first national conference on sustainable coastal management in India? So the host of this event is Odisha State. Fine. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture. Do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK today. With this Meenu Sadhana signing off.